Okay guys, for part 2 on how to solve a V-cube 6x6, we're going to be doing the last two centers. Now, they're a little different to solve and a little harder to solve, so let's get started. Basically, before we want to worry about all the rest of the centers, we're just going to get the little 2x2 two two center in the middle done. So, if you already know how to solve a 4x4, four four, you shouldn't be able to do this because it's just like getting one of the centers on a 4x4 four four done. So I'm not going to explain it really because I assume you already do know how to solve a 4x4. Four four. Anyway, um, with that being said, let's do it. Let me just find this. Ah. Okay, and once you have this done, basically what you want to do now is make sure your centers are in the right place. And mine are because green is opposite to blue. And orange is opposite to red, so they're in the right place. Now, what you want to do is you want to pair each edge so that it is solved. Like, this is a solved pair, and this is an unsolved pair. So, we want to get them all solved. So, basically, what you do is get one, like, here's one, so I gotta get another one that's opposite. And we have it, so we have to get this. So, we have to get this so it lines up with this, like that. And, but before we want to get that tonight, we, right here on this side, you want the color that is the left right here. And in this case, it's green, but if it wasn't green, you'd have to make it green. Not too hard to get it to be green, but you want to get it up like this and bring this side down. So you just want to turn this side up and then bring these two layers down. Turn the top layer like this. And then bring this side up, and turn the top layer left, and then bring the whole layer down like that. And you should have paired an edge. Anyway, we have another one. So for this one, since the yeah, orange is on the left, you want the orange right here. And it's already there. But let's say if it wasn't here, like let's say if green was there... Oh. Okay, it's still orange. I don't know why. Let's see. Well, if green was there, all you'd have to do is just switch it out. It's pretty easy. But anyway, get orange there or whatever color is to the left and make sure that the opposite color is this way so that when you turn them that you're matching them like that. And turn this to match the green. Bring this side down. Do a U-turn. Bring these two up. Do a UI turn. And bring these two down. If, if I knew the algorithm for this, I would tell you, but... I don't really know it, but anyway, once you have that part done, it's just like a 5x5 five five then. Like, the last two centers are just like the last two centers on a 5x5, five five. so it should be easy if you know how to solve a 5x5. Five five. Just match these up. I'm not going to explain it because you should already know how to do this. And there we have it. Um, once you're done, double check to make sure your centers are right. Blue, mustard, blood. And green's opposite to blue, orange is opposite to red. Here we go. We have it. Oh, wait. I have it wrong, don't I? Yes, I do have it wrong. I'll just. Now, like, if you have it wrong like this. Oh. If you have it wrong like this. Just bring the, top, the like like this and then do a double turn and just do it again on the opposite side like that until you have it. But anyways, once you have it, then it's time to move on to edge pairing. So might as well just get started now. Let's do like edge pairing is kind of like the almost the same as I do on the five by five. Basically, what we're gonna do is just get all the edges paired. Like, here's a. I'll just start with any edge. Here's a yellow blue, and here's the yellow blue. So, you wanna get them so that you can match them like that. So, keep them like that. And you gotta find the other yellow blues. Here's one like here. And you gotta turn it so that you're not messing your centers up. But get it on there like that, and then just bring it up like that. So just don't mess your center, be a little careful. But this is basically 
something that you should know how to do if you solve a 5x5. Five five. And then here's, you gotta find the last one, which is right here. Pair that up. Like, get it where it needs to go. And then just pair it up like that. And then once you have them done like that, what you want to do is put this on the top or bottom layer. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put it on the top. And bring the side back down so that you're not messing any of the centers up. And just start over with your edge pin. Like, ooh. Here's two. Here's a green and orange. So basically, we gotta find the other green and oranges. And they're right here, so this should be easy pair. See? Now, what we need to do, since we didn't realign our centers, I'm not going to realign my centers because this is actually faster than realigning your centers. So you want to get this on the middle layer without messing anything up. And get this on the middle layer. And put them there, put them on right so that when you turn them that they'll match like that. And that's it. Then we'll just want to put this on top or bottom layer. doesn't matter. And you can realign your centers if you want, but... That's just to make sure they're right. Anyway, I've been pretty sure mine are right because I know how to solve it. But that just takes more time, so I'm not going to do it. Now, here's a pair, so I'm going to already start with this. So put this on the mid section. Bring it down like that. And then put this one right here. Put that on the bottom. Get that so that you can turn them like that. Like, if you put it on the wrong way like if you put it like that that's the wrong way you don't want to do that so it's pretty easy to just put the right way like that and we gotta find the last one which is right here turn it down and then just put them across like that and then put this on the top or bottom layer doesn't matter and I'm just gonna realign my centers right now because this will be the end of this video. Anyway, by now you should have all the centers done and I have three edges. In the next video I should teach you how to get the rest of the edges done. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye.